These are the check valves uh, out of my Volvo. They are used in most double overhead cam engines. Very similar to, I've seen the same kind in Mazdas and Fords and Nissans. Uh, oil pressure is supplied through this hole here and it fills up inside this check valve and it takes up the gap underneath the valve and the cam lobe and when you start getting a tick tick noise it means inside here inside the check valves they carbon up and they don't spring back like this one and squeeze it right in like so so to take them apart it can be a little bit difficult but I use needle nose pliers and these ones are just a vice grip kind put it on top there give it a bit of a twist and they pop out just like so okay now they can be hard when it's carboned up so you may slip off a couple of times but persist and you'll be fine now to take these apart they'll slide out they can be a bit difficult you'll have a spring and inside here is a tiny spring and a check valve a check ball same as this one I've got here sorry about the focus so to get them out you run your a pick like I've, I've got in here and I'll pop it up like so and you will release your check valve in your spring be careful doing it because your spring may want to fly away so that's it there there's your spring sorry about the focus and there's your ball and to assemble them it's as simple as just popping the ball back on this is once you've cleaned them all I'll grab this little hat and the spring I'll pop it in as you can see I've got picks magnetic and I'll pop one corner in just like that Pop it down like that. Make sure it's all the way down. And just check. And we're all back together. It takes a long time to do it. But once you've done it and got them all clean, you've saved yourself a lot of money. Pop the spring back on. Make sure it's all lubricated. And we can pop it back in like so. Just squeeze them to check. Sorry about the focus. That's ready to go back in. So you can grab it. You can usually pop them back in by hand. Sometimes it's difficult, but you can usually get them back in. Pop back in, just like that. There you go ready to go now as an added measure you can fill your bucket up inside there with oil first just to prime it so you don't have air under there Ooh, there we go. So you can fill this orifice up with oil, okay, and it will it will fill up until it comes out of your hole, most likely. But you will still have air inside here, most likely. But that's okay. You're not going to be able to get rid of all of the air, 
but your oil pressure in the air will seep out the sides once you've started your engine and it's running. Anyway, that's your basic arrangement. And just to show you again, and the final one, grab your spring, pop it in the little hat. Put one corner in, tip it over just like that. And then pop it down. Check all corners, make sure it's all down. Beautiful. There we go. All done. Nice and ready to go with the other ones. That's it. Just a quick one. So let you know. Save yourself some money. Get rid of those noisy, well they're not tappets, but get that noisy ticking sound from the top end of your head if you're um, doing some head work. And uh, these babies will be good for another 150, 200,000 maybe. You know. Anyway, catch you next time.